The world tends to see Britain as a democratic nation and the home of the mother of parliaments. The world tends to see Britain as a democratic nation and the home of the mother of parliaments. And yet Britain was also the birthplace of George Orwell and the inspiration for his disturbing novel, 1984. For some observers, the Orwellian nightmare is starting to come true. According to the civil liberties group Big Brother Watch, Britain may only have 1% of the world's population, but it has 20% of its CCTV cameras. To find out more, we went to Big Brother Watch's offices in Westminster and met with its deputy director, Emma Carr. We were first founded in 2009. I think the concern was a mixture between things like the nanny state, so littering fines, fines for leafleting, fines for having an untidy garden. Somebody was fined for littering when they were feeding ducks, things like that. Well, at the same time, slightly more kind of worryingly, is the kind of increase of things like CCTV within this country, which kind of has developed rapidly over the last kind of 15, 20 years. And since then, we've kind of moved further and further into policy territory, things to do with surveillance in general, so CCTV cameras and surveillance powers of public authorities, rather than the kind of nanny state side of things. And rapid advances in technology are undoubtedly contributing to the growth in surveillance. A lot of these technologies are getting smaller and are getting cheaper. We've seen this with CCTV, a CCTV that can now be linked with things like audio, CCTV that is in high definition and can spot a face from half a mile away. If you then link that up with face recognition technology, which is available, then I think that's quite a terrifying 1984 sort of state of affairs. Also, drones within this country are going to start being used as well. This is technology that was developed for... technology that was developed for war-torn countries to be used by the military and again the very sophisticated piece of technology which are now being sold onto the police because of course this country is starting to roll back on their defence spending and so the defence companies that have spent all this money developing things they're going to want to sell them onto somebody and so we're now seeing them being used by border control and the police potentially within inner cities and having something that is unmanned and indiscriminate again it's something that I don't think Orwell could have <laughs> predicted. Of course. Of course, many people see the increase in the use of CCTV cameras as a good thing. But Emma Carr does not agree. I think it's somewhat lulled people into a false sense of security and it makes them feel safer than they actually are. Whenever I do reports on CCTV and then do radio shows and things like that from talking to people is that they have this kind of misapprehension that somebody is constantly monitoring CCTV, that CCTV images are going to be good enough to be used in court cases. There's, there's many television shows which are basically based around CCTV images and helping to catch criminals. And so they're surrounded by these kind of cases which would make them feel that they do reduce crime and that they are safer. And actual fact, there's absolutely no research at all to suggest that it does make people any safer and that it does reduce crime. All it does is that it moves the crime to somewhere else. So you either have to decide whether you want to have CCTV cameras absolutely everywhere. So that would be within your homes, outside of your homes, on every street corner, in every public space, in every private space. Or do you actually want to use those provisions to tackle the problem, to have more police on our streets who can be there if a crime is being committed and to come to your aid? I think that's the deal that we need to try and figure out for ourselves. Yeah.